assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel and if you're just viewing my channel for the first time welcome to my channel so on this channel i make tutorials on the jabs jubabs buyers so if that's the kind of content you're looking for do well to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to tap the notification bell to be notified when i post a new video so today's tutorial is on how to make this lawful hijab this beautiful hijab so for this tutorial i'm going to be using a jesse fabric and I'm using about 1 yard to 1 meter of the fabric. And the fabric length is about 60 inches or 150 centimeter. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the fabric into two. So after folding into two, I'm going to cut out the ruffle. So for the ruffle, I'm going to mark 4 inches or 10 centimeter. So I'm just going to mark that to the other edge there. And then I'm going to connect all the points. So after connecting, I'll just go ahead and mark another 4 inches or 10 centimeter. Because I'm going to be needing two of these to make my ruffle. So what I'm just going to do now is I'm going to cut out my piece for the ruffle. And then I'm going to join the two pieces together to form a long piece. So my fabric is still folded into two. And the length of the jar piece is 30 inches or 76 centimeters. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my head circumference divided by two. So my head circumference is 20 inches divided by two. So that's 10 inches or 25 centimeters. So I'm just going to chuck that. And then from that point, I'm going to make a diagonal line of 20 inches. Because the length of my hijab is 30 inches. 20 inches or 50 centimeters. So another thing is you can always adjust the width of your hijab depending on how wide you want it to be. Or how slim you want it to be. But I want mine... Of this width so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take the edge of the back piece and i'm going to place it on my chopped line after which i'm going to come to the midpoint there and then i'll go up by 12 inches or 30 centimeter so after marking that point i'm just going to make a curve to join the edge of the front piece and then the back piece. After which I'm going to cut it out. So when you open it up you should have something like this so that's the head opening i'm just going to notch that part so the next thing i'm going to do is for my remaining fabric i'm going to cut out my jab cap so i'll just go ahead and fold the fabric into four then i'll insert my jab cap weight which is four inches or ten centimeter and then the jab cap length, which is 10 inches or 25 centimeters. So that's my head circumference divided by 2. So I'll just go ahead and cut it out. After which I'm going to notch the midpoints. So 
So after notching the midpoint, I will just go ahead and attach my hijab cap to my hijab piece. Then for the two pieces, I'll just go ahead and join it together. So to attach that, and I'm just going to open up my jab piece, and the right side is facing me. I'll just go ahead and place the jab cap on it, and then I'm going to pin it from the notched parts. So I'll just go ahead and stitch that. So after stitching... I'm just going to put the two pieces together and then I'm going to join the front parts of the hijab. After joining it was something like this. So the next thing I'm just going to do is I'm going to start marking where we are going to place our ruffle. So I'll just go ahead and mark 7.5 inches or 9 centimeter. And I'm going to mark that all around. Seven point five inches or nineteen centimeter. And please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to tap the subscribe button. And also tap the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. So after marking that, I'm just going to connect all the points. So we'll have something like this, something like an hack after marking. So I'll just go ahead, flip the fabric to the other side, and then do the same thing to the other side also. So I'm going to form the same hack. So the next thing I'm just going to do is I'm going to measure the marked parts. So after measuring it, I have about 45 inches in total. I'll measure the other side also. So I have about 45 inches or 114 centimeter in total. So I just passed a needle and thread of that 45 inches or 140 centimeter. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to start gathering up my ruffle. You can use any means of gathering, but I think I prefer this because I get the exact amount of ruffle I need. So I'll just pass my needle and thread in it, and then I'm going to form my ruffle. So I formed my ruffle already. I'll just go ahead and attach my ruffle to my jar piece. And I'm going to be attaching just on the marked line. So I'm going to place it right side facing each other. So I'm placing it this way. So by the time I stitch on it, I'll be able to flip it to the other side. So I'll go ahead and stitch that. And then I'll come to the other part also. And then do the same thing. So when I flip it to the other side, I'm going to have something like this. So I'll just go ahead and join the other part also. So after joining, this is the final outcome of a hijab. So what I'm just going to do is I'll go ahead and M the lower parts or overlock it. So I'll just time the lower part or overlock it. So this is just me trying the jab on. I 
hope you find it to be helpful and if you do don't forget to tap the like button and you can share with sijab lovers also so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next tutorial inshallah so all this part is just me trying it on and then probably draping it on my shoulder so i'll see us in the next tutorial inshallah assalamu alaikum